many persons still believe that when they sleep with a woman unprotected, when they take ampiclos, uh, beta cola, and some other nonsense, that it will flush the infection. Some persons are following me because they want to know the cause. Now, many years ago, maybe like 13 or so, when I was in school, I used to think that um, when you take beta cola or ampiclos after sleeping with a woman unprotected, you will be cleansed so it will flush everything out of you it was many years later i realized i had been fooling myself up to date many persons still believe that when they sleep with a woman unprotected when they take ampiclos uh, beta cola and some other nonsense that it will flush the infection if there's any infection in the in the person to flush it out of their system that is not true and also know that HIV is real. And that is not the only infection you should be scared of. There are other infections. Some girls today, when you see them, they will go about sleeping around unprotected because a Yahoo boy promised her 200,000. Unknown to her that there are some infections that that guy, that Yahoo boy, will deposit inside of you. One millionaire will not be able to treat that infection. So be wise, be wise. Even as a girl, I am not here to preach to you not to knock before marriage. Okay? The message here is to be safe. You are going to a guy to meet a guy for the first time. You don't know his HIV status. You don't know if that person has infection. You will go there and open your legs. And at the end of the day, you start crying. See, ladies, be wise. For the fact the guy wants to use a condom does not mean you are safe. Sometimes it is smarter if you go to him with your own condom. Take your own condom, wear him. Then monitor how he uses it. Because some guys that are already HIV positive, they will put O at the tip and then when they ejaculate, the thing will, will slide into your body. So be smart, be smart, be smart. I even have a friend currently believes that when he takes bitter cola after sleeping with a woman unprotected, it will flush things from his body. So people still believe that. Okay? So now talking about your immune system, your immune system is a body of soldiers that fight infections and diseases. I saw a video on a page last night okay so i'm not going to play the video but this is a picture i took from the video some persons are following me because they want to know the cause now this is a rare skin infection i believe it is as a result of the person's immune system crashing yes because if your immune system is going down there are some infections that have been tied down by those soldiers, they will spring up and start destroying part of your body. Yes, that is why you must learn how to boost your immune system. And one of the ways, or some of the ways you can boost your immune system, one, getting enough sleep, treating any pending infection, okay? Eat balanced diet, avoid stress, and also there are some infections that can also bring down your immune system like HIV AIDS, they can bring down your immune system. Even some cancers, they can bring down your immune system. Did you know that if your immune system is strong enough, there are some virus, bacteria, and fungi that your immune system can trap? Take for instance this um, TB, tuberculosis for instance. Some persons have tuberculosis, but because their immune system is very, very active, their immune system has arrested the tuberculosis. So that tuberculosis is now in its inactive stage. So if something happens along the line and the person's immune system breaks down or, uh, or crashes, you will see that those bacteria will spring up and start attacking. So you have to boost your immune system. 